Wait, are you not taking creatine? What, are you one of these hydrated, well-rested, and emotionally stable individuals? If so, maybe you don't need any creatine. But for the rest of us that are out here on the struggle bus, well, creatine might be something we want to jump onto. So let's cut through the gym bro hype and the influencer noise because creatine isn't just for those bodybuilders that are flexing in the mirror. It is one of the most well-researched and effective supplements that is out there, and yes, it actually works. And so today, we're breaking down what is creatine, how it works, how it can help you to lift more, how it might help your mind to be a little bit sharper, and it might even help you to age a little bit better. And of course, we're doing it without all the pseudoscience fluff. Oh, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more no BS science-backed content from yours truly. So let's start with the science. Creatine is actually a naturally occurring compound that is found inside of your muscle cells. And what creatine does is it helps your body to regenerate what's called ATP. ATP is like your main energy molecule, especially during bursts of short, intense activity like lifting weights, sprinting, or arguing on Facebook. And when you use up your ATP, your muscles are going to stop working. At this point in time, creatine swoops in, it provides a phosphate group to this ATP to regenerate it, and it allows your muscles to keep working for just a little bit longer. And in case all of that sounded a bit like gibberish, another way to think about it is your muscles are kind of like an iPhone. And creatine, well, that is your portable power bank. And so, creatine doesn't replace the phone or the charger. What it does is it helps to give that muscle a little bit extra juice when it is needed before everything crashes out. Now, your body makes some of its own creatine and you do get a little bit of creatine from the diet and foods that you eat, but it's usually not enough to get the full benefits that can be seen. And thus, we need to supplement. Now, as a quick aside, did you know that keeping your Wagovi and Zepbound pens at the correct temperature when traveling isn't something that's optional? It is essential. These are temperature sensitive medications and if they get too hot, too cold, that is gonna destroy the medication and make them ineffective. And that is where the four all family travel coolers come into play. Two of my favorite coolers from them, the first one is the Voyager, which can provide continuous refrigeration via USB power and their power bank if you're off the grid. This one's gonna be great for those longer overseas trips or where you're no longer connected to the power source and you need something that can be taken on on the go. Their other cooler is the Medium Nomad. This one's a little bit sleeker, sexier, but it is great for those weekend trips because it can keep your meds cool for about 28 to 30 hours with a biogel ice pack. And because you're one of my amazing viewers, you can use my discount code DANB10 and get 10% off your order at forallfamily.com. Again, that's DANB10 at forallfamily.com. The link and everything you need are down below in the description. So don't risk your meds and travel with peace of mind. So why do all the gym bros worship creatine like it's some kind of pre-workout holy water? Well, what normally happens when you go and lift weights is that you get a bunch of micro tears in the muscle. When all those tears and fibers heal, the muscle comes back bigger and stronger. What creatine does is it helps you to lift that weight an extra one or two reps. Those extra reps cause a little bit more tearing, a little bit more damage, which then causes more adaptation and causes your muscles to come back even bigger and stronger over time. So it doesn't help you to magically build muscle. What it does is it helps you to train harder, recover faster, and get more from your workouts. You compound that over weeks and boom, you're getting all the gains. And for those of you that are thinking, but bro, I don't even lift weights, you need to stick around. When we look beyond the muscle, one of the main areas that we're seeing creatine might have a benefit in is in cognitive function. In fact, some studies show that creatine may help to improve short-term memory and help to alleviate brain fog, which could be especially beneficial if you're sleep deprived, stressed, or just an adult that's living in 2025. The other benefit that we're seeing with creatine is it may help in aging and muscle preservation. In particular, in older adults, we have had studies that show there's muscle preservation and a retaining of strength when taking creatine. More strength means less frailty, which means better mobility, and that means less falls. That's right, creatine isn't just for those 22-year-olds that are trying to look good shirtless. It could also be good for you, Susan. Now, a couple other areas where there's some moderate to emerging evidence with the use of creatine would be around recovery after an injury, there might also be some antidepressant effects, which would be pretty cool. 
and there might be potential benefits with neurological diseases such as Parkinson's and ALS. The latter is more so theoretical, but pretty promising nonetheless. Now, I would be remiss if we didn't talk about some of the myths about creatine that are floating around on the internet. And the only way that creatine could maybe damage your kidneys is if you're already dehydrated and not drinking any fluids like an adult. Because in reality, creatine might actually help you become more hydrated. When you take creatine, it can actually pull water into your muscles and help your muscles to be more hydrated, which can actually improve overall physical performance. Now, as a quick asterisk here, you might find that when you start creatine, you gain a couple pounds in weight. And that would be because the muscle cells are taking up the creatine, but also taking up water with it, so you're getting a bit of fluid retention. But don't panic, you're not gaining fat, you're not getting bulky, you're just getting hydrated. Now, of course, if you have any comorbid conditions, underlying kidney disease, so on and so forth, be sure to talk to your doctor and your care team before you start these medications, and don't go to TikTok for your medical advice. One of the other big myths that's floating around out there is people will say that you need to cycle your creatine. You need to take it for a period of time, then stop and do a creatine cleanse and so on and so forth. But nope, nope, that is not the case. There is no need for a creatine cleanse. Your body can adapt just fine to taking it on a daily basis. Now, this next myth that I saw floating around didn't really make any sense to me, but it was that only people that eat meat are gonna get a benefit from creatine. But in reality, those that are vegetarian or vegan might actually get more benefit because they aren't eating meat, so their baseline level of creatine is gonna be lower, so them supplementing with creatine makes, makes more sense. Do, do you see what I'm saying? I, I don't understand the whole meat eater thing, but at the same time, I don't understand most of the bullshit that people put out there. So whether you eat meat, whether you're vegan, vegetarian, it doesn't matter. Supplementing with creatine is probably going to provide you some benefits. But overall, creatine is ridiculously well studied, it is beneficial, and it has been shown to be safe. And hey everyone, if you're currently living with a chronic condition like obesity, asthma, Crohn's disease, and what have you, and you're currently taking one of the medications associated with those chronic diseases, well, I have an opportunity for you. Blue Charm is a platform that rewards you for sharing your journey. You just download the Blue Charm app in the Google Play Store or on the App Store, and you can earn up to $100 for sharing your story. And here's the bonus. If you use my code LYG4G8, you can get an additional $5 in conjunction with whatever amount that they're sending you as a thank you for completing one of their surveys. Now, I will say this is for my Canadian viewers only, and you have to be above the age of 18, but if you are looking at it and you're wanting to share your story and make a little extra cash as well help drive meaningful research around chronic conditions, then you need to download the Blue Charm app and check it out today. And don't forget to use my code LYG4G8 to make just a little extra cash. Now, what about the dosage? What kind of creatine? What do we need to get so that you are getting the right product to get the most benefit? The kind of creatine is very, very simple. You want to avoid all the overpriced crap that says creatine HCL, liquid creatine, or creatine unicorn powder, it's mixed with all this other stuff. Focus on getting creatine monohydrate. That one is king. It is affordable, effective, and backed by over 500 plus studies. I usually recommend the powder formulation, add it to some water, dissolve it down, and even if it doesn't dissolve, just swirl it up, sip it back, and move on. We're not brewing oat milk matcha here. In terms of dosage, you just need five grams a day. Some people will say that you need to load your creatine when first starting it and take like 20 grams of creatine for five to seven days at the start. But in reality, you don't need to do that. The more important thing is just you take it consistently every day to get the full benefits so that your muscles are good and saturated with plenty of creatine for when you need it. Now, I want to hear from you. Are you team creatine? Have you tried it? Have you noticed any strength gains? Maybe some brain boosts or perhaps just a sudden swelling of your ego. Regardless, I want to hear from you, so drop your comments down below. And as a quick aside, if you're ready to rebuild your relationship with food and want to get some science-backed advice on how to manage your weight, then you need to come and check out Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub. This is your go-to resource for all of the health information that you need, Plus, you get to join a fantastic community of people that simply get it. The link and everything that you need are all down below. So the bottom line on creatine is one, it's not magic. But for something that costs less than your iced coffee habit, it comes pretty damn close. 
It does a bit of everything, it's extremely safe, and no, it will not turn you into the Hulk overnight. So that is it and that is all you beautiful people. I know you love this video, so be sure to hit that like button and be sure to share it with anyone else that you think is gonna get some benefit from it. As well, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the amazing content that I put out. As well, check me out on all my other channels at the official Dr. Dan, and be sure to come by the Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub, which is your go-to community resource for science-backed information and a community of people who can help you along your weight management journey. Everything that you need and all the recommendations that I have are all down below. Be sure to check it all out. And of course, as I always sign off, please remember it is the small tweaks that lead to those massive peaks.